hello coders welcome back to tutor and so guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can use tailwind css in your simple html project and by that what i mean is you can use tailwind css in your simple html css and javascript project and there are two methods to use tailwind css in your simple html project and i'm going to show you both of them in this video so watch the video till the end and you will got to know what is the right way of using Tailwind CSS in your project. So let's get started with the video and here I have created a folder, empty folder and I'm going to import this in VS Code editor as a project and you can create a project in any of your editor if you are not using VS Code similarly. So it doesn't matter you have to create a project with simple HTML file and here I'm going to create a HTML file with index.html name and we are going to write some dummy or the boilerplate for HTML which is given by the VS Code by writing exclamation mark and tab. So guys if you go to the official website of tailwindcss.com and see the installation guide there then you can see the different method to install Tailwind CSS in your project but there are two methods which we are going to use in this video and this is the first one which is the Tailwind CSS CLI and this is the correct way to use Tailwind CSS and there is another play CDN mode which is just for development and it is not for production. So first let's see how you can use Tailwind CSS with the play CDN of the Tailwind CSS. So let's copy the CDN link here and let's embed this link in our project by writing a script tag and providing this in our href attribute and that's it we can use Tailwind CSS in our project now and we are ready to go so we'll write some Tailwind CSS class in our HTML document and see if it works so I'm going to create a div in my code and I'm going to give it a class name of bgread300 which is the class of Tailwind CSS and we are going to run it by live server so let's see if it works or not and guys as you can see here the background of the text which I have written in HTML inside the class of Tailwind CSS is now read and by that we can say is the Tailwind CSS is working in our project now. But guys this is not the correct way to use Tailwind CSS in our project. This is only the development version of the Tailwind CSS which is the play CDN. And if you inspect our website in Chrome Dev Tool then you can see here it is not meant for production and it is only for development and guys if you go to the networks section of this dev tool then you can see how our website is loaded and what are the content which is being loaded so as you can see the most of the time our website is loading is from the Tailwind CSS CDN and this is not a good experience for users as it is going to cost unnecessary data to the users so Let's see how you can use Tailwind CSS the correct way which is by using Tailwind CSS CLI. So guys let's first of all remove this serial link from here and let's open terminal in the VS Code. So that we can insert our node project inside our project with npm in it. And guys for this you have to install node.js inside our computer. So if you haven't already installed the node.js you have to go to the Node.js official website and download Node.js and install it according to your computer or operating system. As I have already installed, I am not going to install it again. So after everything is done, let's run this command and you can see here our node project is being created and you can give it a name here and versions and many more things like this and if you are not aware of these things or if you don't want to change anything just continue with by pressing enter and at the last you have to give it confirmation by typing yes so that it can create a node project inside our project and after everything is completed successfully then you can see our package.json file is created inside our project which is nothing but the configuration file for node.js project inside our project from where you can change anything about this project like name of the project and version of the, this project and dependencies which is going to be used inside our project so now let's create a folder inside our project which is going to be public 
in which we are going to save our output files and index.html which is going to be served as the index page for our website and let's create another folder called src which is going to be the source folder for our styles or the tailwind css classes and let's move index.html to the public folder as from now we are going to serve everything from the public folder and let's create a file name output style or you can name it anything which is going to be the style for our website and this is the file which is going to be created or filled by the Tailwind CSS with the Tailwind CSS class definitions and we have to create another file inside the src which is going to be the input styles which exactly means this is going to be the input file for the output which is going to be inside the public folder and from the official documentation of tailwindcss.com you can share the command given to install Tailwind CSS inside our node project or our simple HTML, CSS or JavaScript project. So let's run this command. And after this command runs successfully, you will see dependencies installed inside our package.json and you can see here Tailwind CSS version. And now we have to run another command which is npx tailwind init which is going to create a configuration file for tailwind css inside our project from where we can configure tailwind css so let's run this command again and as you can see here tailwind.config.js file has been created and this is the configuration file for tailwind css to configure our project and output file for our tailwind css classes so in the content we can give here the location of files in which we are going to use tailwind css classes like we are going to use tailwind css in our html files inside our public folder so in this we are going to give the path and the extension of these files inside the content which is going to be an array or just the path of the files in which we are going to use tailwind css so if you have folder structure like mine then you can follow me like this public slash asterisk dot the extensions of the file in which we are going to use Tailwind CSS and now in next step we are going to give the directory of Tailwind CSS inside our input CSS file which is input style dot CSS inside our src folder so we are going to copy this and we are going to paste it inside our input style dot CSS file and make sure that you are pasting it on the top if you have written any extra CSS inside your project then and now most of the things are set up and now let's save it and we are ready to go and now we can use Tailwind CSS inside our project and we can use Tailwind CSS classes inside our HTML file and as I have already used it inside our HTML file in the previous example so we don't need to do that again and we just need to run the command which is going to build the output CSS file from the Tailwind CSS and this is the command which is npx tailwind input file which in our case is going to be the input style.css inside our src folder and after that we have to give the output file which is going to be the public slash in output style.css so let's copy this command and we have to replace the input and output file name or the path of the file name in here so let's give it for the input we are going to give input style dot css and for output we are going to give public slash output style dot css and we are using watch attribute here so that this command keeps running every time we change something inside our project or inside our code so if you run it then you can see our output style.css file has been filled with some code which is not written by us which is given by the tailwind css and these are the code which is generated by analyzing our input files or analyzing our html files because we have used tailwind css class names inside our 
HTML file. And now we have to include our output CSS file inside our HTML file so that our page get styled with the Tailwind CSS. And now let's run it with live server. And here we go. We have styled our project or website with Tailwind CSS the right way, which is by using Tailwind CSS CLI. And now the size of the CSS file is going to be very very minimum, which is going to be around 8 or 9 kb, which is a great deal compared to the loading time of the play CDN. But guys, currently we are running this build command inside our terminal manually every time we have to build our output CSS and this is a very long code to write every time so we are going to eliminate this process by writing a script inside our package.json and we are going to give this command with the script name called watch css or you can name it anything and you have to paste the command corresponding to this name here so that we can run it from terminal by just writing the name of this script and we don't have to write this long command again and again so it is going to save a lot of our time and now let's try it and guys here we go this is working fine so guys thank you for watching this video and i hope you find this video helpful and if you do it so like this video and subscribe this channel to get more of these videos in future and stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial